Hi and welcome to another Geek 55 video. In this video I'm again going to be teaching about Scratch. This time I'm going to be teaching you how to use one of these, a Scratch board. Right, firstly I'm going to teach you how to use the button, then I'm going to teach you how the slider works, then resistance and basically every feature of the Scratch board. Started. Right. What we're going to do with the button is make it so that when we press it, he says hello, and this only happens once. So we drag in what when green clicked, then drag in wait until go into sensing, get this one right down at the bottom, which is sensor button pressed. No need to change it because it's still already at button pressed, like I said. And then we need to drag in our say hello for two seconds block. And um, right, now when I press the button, he says hello, like so. And that only happens once, like I said, doesn't do it again. Okay, so now we can make it so that he says goodbye when you press it for a second time. Okay, so then we have to drag this in, keep it the same, and then change just change this to goodbye like so and then if it works properly should work like this hello and then goodbye okay and that is how the button works now I'm going to teach you how to use the slider okay what we're going to do with the slider is make it so that he moves up and down according to the slider position Okay, so what we've got to do is when green clicks forever set Y to slider sensor value. Like so now when I press the green flag it should move up and down according to the slider. Like that. that works perfectly fine but I still want to make some adjustments because we want him to be able to go all the way down here okay so just press the little red hexagon to stop all the scripts and now what we're going to do is instead of just slider sensor value we're going to do slider sensor value minus let's say 50 let's try that see how that works right so now you can go up there and down there like I was hoping for and that is how to use the slider right for this next bit you're going to need some crocodile clips that came with it because we're doing resistance what we're going to do with the crocodile clips is make it so that he twirls according to the resistance between them so what we're going to do is drag in when green clicked forever and then go into looks set change risk from color to twirl well whirl effect Okay, so set world effect to, and go into sensing and drag in the resistance A sensor value. Well, it can be resistance B, C, D. The resistance letter will corresponds to the ports you, you put the crocodile clips into. So now he's only slightly warped because they're not touching, and he'll. Okay, so he warps according to them, I'll touch them, and he's not warped, untouch them, he's warped, 
and like that. And then if I rub them together, he fluctuates like that. And then if I put them together, he's perfectly normal. But this is kind of boring. It doesn't twirl that much. So you know what we're going to do now? We're going to change this from just plain resistance A sensor value to resistance A sensor value times by 4. So this time he'll twirl more, like so, like that, rub them, it fluctuates again. So this works pretty well. And that is how you use... Right, now we're going to play around with the light sensor and I'm going to teach you how that works. Right, what we're going to do with the light sensor is a similar thing to what we did the resistance except instead of whirl we're going to do the brightness effect so what we do is when green clicked forever go to looks drag in set color effect to zero block and then we're going to change color to brightness and then change zero with the light sensor value right press green click and he changes his lightness how light he is according to the lightness in the room so i'll put my finger on the sensor he gets darker take it off he gets lighter darker lighter darker lighter and that is how the light sensor works right now there is one last aspect of the scratch board that i need to teach and that is the sound sensor. Right, what we're going to do with the sound sensor is make it so he grows and shrinks according to how loud it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do is when green clicked, forever, and then drag in, set, oops, wrong thing set size to 100% block but then we're going to sensing and change the set size to 100% with the set slider sensor value block and change slider to sound so now in theory he should grow and shrink according to how loud it is in the room and as you can see as I'm talking he's growing and shrinking and if I clap it does the same. And that is how you use the scratch board. I hope you enjoyed this video.